Let's talk about the event that he was scheduled to compete in. Let's talk about the Bowerman Mile, uh, which is one of the featured events on Saturday. Weather could be bad, but you still got a lot of the best in the world. Ingebrigtsen, Chariot, Kipsang, Hoare, Tier, Hawker. I want to talk about Colin Solomon, the high schooler, in a second uh, as well. But who's your who's your pick to win? How many people do you think can win this race? I tend to see it as being between one of three guys in Inga Brits and Chariot and Kip Sang, who's riding the hot hand right now. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, it's those are the, that's the big three. Uh, it used to be a big two, but Kip Sang, the way he's been running, has joined the has has been given um, what's the word? Uh, I don't know what the word is, but he earned his his name being a in line with Inga Britson and Chariot. Um, so those are the big three. But I just have a feeling that's not going to be the top three finishers. I think there's going to be someone who breaks up that big three. I'm not sure who's the one that finishes fourth or fifth of those mm-hmm. three. But I do think someone on this list will find a way to sneak into a third place finish. And, you know, I think that's going to be the story that comes out, whether it's a Cooper Tier doing it, whether it's a Hawker doing it, be like, hey, I'm back. Whether it's, you know, a Oliver Hoare, be like, hey, guys, don't forget about me. Uh, Mm -hmm. You know, so there's just going to be different. I can see a situation where there's just one of those wild card type guys who find a way to break up those top three. Well, I like the fact that the top three are so highly motivated because you got Inga Britson losing world indoors. You have Kip Sang, who is trying to say, I'm a legitimate top two guy i'm gonna break this group up i'm gonna crash the party and he's done well his last couple races he's proven he he might be the best guy right now in the 15 and then you have cherry who got beat by ingerbritson last year and then avenge that loss at the diamond league final and then this year he loses to kip sang in the diamond league so they're all like have reasons to really get up for this race which what is what makes me excited about it also I mean, all three of them are capable and really desire that quick pace. They're going to want to push it. They're going to want to get after it. So I think we're going to see something, weather permitting, something pretty special here between this group. And I think it's great that we have three of the top four. I mean, three of the top five, I guess you could say. I mean, you'd love to have Kerr there and Tefera there. But this is, this is a big group of the best guys in the world who are all motivated. I think I'm going to stick with the hot hand, though. I think I'm going Kip Sang again. Yeah. I mean, that's who I would go with. Um, it's kind of weird because I was, yeah, you like to remind me, I said Jakob Ingebrigtsen's not going to lose another race for like the next 10 years, but I never <laughs> specified which distance. So I think I'm going to turn him into 5K. a 5K runner. It's 5K. He He's won. a 5K runner now. He ran that one in California. That's his only outdoor race this year. Exactly. Yeah. He's going to be undefeated in the 5K. Um, Kip Sang is just. 